When you reach the point where your desire for success is as vital as your need to breathe, you've tapped into an extraordinary force. This intensity, this profound drive, is what separates the extraordinary from the ordinary, the achievers from the dreamers. It's not merely about wishing for success, it's about being consumed by the pursuit of it, where every moment not moving toward your goal feels like a moment lost. Consider for a moment the concept of obsession. The word often carries a negative connotation, suggesting an imbalance or an unhealthy focus. However, I urge you to see obsession through a different lens, as a powerful positive force that compels you toward your goals. It's this kind of obsession, a relentless pursuit fueled by passion and dedication, that creates champions, innovators, and leaders. This intense focus, this positive obsession, is about harnessing your passion to achieve your objectives. It's about aligning every action, every thought, every resource at your disposal toward realizing your dreams. When you live and breathe your goals, when your aspirations consume you to the extent that every breath you take is a step closer to your dreams, you unlock a level of commitment and determination that few ever realize. But how do you cultivate this obsession? It begins with clarity. You must first define what success looks like for you. Is it to innovate, to lead, to inspire? Once your vision is clear, your obsession, your unwavering focus on that goal, becomes your guiding force. What holds you back from embracing your obsession? Is it fear, doubt, the opinions of others? Consider this. What could you achieve if those barriers were removed? What if your drive to succeed was as instinctive as breathing? Embrace this mindset shift. Allow your passion to become your obsession. Let this obsession not be a path to imbalance, but a journey towards achieving your fullest potential. Remember, when your desire for success is as urgent and essential as the air you breathe, there's no limit to what you can achieve. Now think about your goals. Can you feel that fire within? Are you ready to let this positive obsession lead your way? Let me share something crucial with you. The clarity of your goals can be the single most determining factor in your journey towards success. Picture this. As you're setting out on a road trip, you have your vehicle ready, the tank is full. But if you don't know where you're going, how will you ever arrive? This is precisely how goal setting works. It's not just about having goals. It's about having clear, specific, and ambitious goals. Consider the story of a young athlete, someone with a dream so vivid and clear that every morning upon waking, the first thing they saw was their gold pinned across the room. Olympic gold. This wasn't just any dream. It was defined with every detail etched into their mind. The clarity of this goal guided every training session, every sacrifice, and every decision. And when they finally stood on the podium, gold hanging around their neck, it wasn't just a victory for them, it was a testament to the power of clear, specific goals. Now you might wonder, how do I start? How can I make my goals clear and ambitious? Begin by asking yourself, what exactly do I want to achieve? The more specific you are, the clearer the path becomes. Do you want to grow your business? Specify by how much. Do you want to improve your health? Define what that looks like. The specificity of your goal is your compass. Take a moment here. Think about one goal you have, a desire you hold close to your heart. Now ask yourself, is this goal as clear as it can be? Can you visualize it down to the smallest details? This clarity transforms a mere wish into a target you can aim for and hit. Reflecting on this, consider individuals who've achieved remarkable success. They had goals, yes, but more importantly, they had clarity. Their goals weren't just wishes thrown into the wind. They were beacons guiding their every move. From inventors who changed the way we live to athletes who pushed the boundaries of human capability, their success stemmed from the clarity of their goals. But how do you maintain this focus, especially when obstacles arise? Here lies the importance of obsession. When your goal is clear, your obsession with achieving it doesn't waver in the face of challenges. Instead, each challenge becomes a stepping stone, bringing you closer to your goal. Have you ever faced a challenge that seemed insurmountable? How did your perspective on your goal change during this time? More importantly, how can focusing on the clarity of your goal help you navigate future challenges? In crafting your goals, remember, ambition fuels progress. Don't shy away from setting goals that stretch you, that push you beyond your current limits.
It's in reaching for what seems impossible that we achieve what's possible. Now, consider the essence of your ambitions. Are they bold enough? Do they scare you a little? Good. They should. Ambition isn't just about achieving what you know you can. It's about discovering what you didn't know you could achieve. The clarity of your goals sets the stage for your success. Your obsession with these goals, powered by their specificity and ambition, is what will drive you forward. So dare to dream big. But more importantly, dare to define those dreams with utmost clarity. Take a moment to reflect on our discussion. How will you refine the clarity of your goals? How will your ambition shape your journey? Remember, the journey to success starts with a single, clearly defined step. Take that step today and let your obsession with your goals turn into actionable steps. This bridge connects the dreamers to the doers, the visionaries to the achievers. It's one thing to dream big, to have clear and ambitious goals, but it's quite another to roll up your sleeves and dive into the work needed to make those dreams a reality. Imagine for a moment a writer obsessed with the idea of penning a novel that would someday become a classic. This isn't just any dream. It's vivid, detailed, and fueled by a passion so intense that it lights up every fiber of their being. But here's where the magic happens. It's not just in the dreaming, it's in the doing. Every day, without fail, the writer sits down and pours their heart and soul onto the page. Some days, the words flow like a mighty river. Other days, it's a trickle. But every day they write. This relentless focused action turns an abstract obsession into a tangible masterpiece. Now talk about momentum. It's easy to start strong, fueled by the initial excitement of your goal. But how do you keep going, especially when the going gets tough? Here's a strategy. Break your big goal into smaller, manageable tasks. Think of it as eating an elephant one bite at a time. Completing these smaller tasks provides a sense of achievement and keeps the momentum alive. But what about procrastination, that sneaky thief of time? Here's a tip. Start your day with your most challenging task. Mark Twain called it, eating the frog. When you do this, you carry the satisfaction of having accomplished something significant throughout the day, which fuels further action. Let me share a story about an inventor obsessed with creating a device that would change the world. This wasn't just any invention. It was a light bulb. Thomas Edison faced failure after failure, over a thousand times. But his obsession didn't allow him to see these as failures, only as steps, learning moments that brought him closer to his goal. Edison's relentless action, his refusal to give up, led to a breakthrough that illuminated the world. Now think for a moment about your own goals. Are you taking focused, relentless action towards achieving them? When you hit a roadblock, do you see it as a stop sign or as a detour sign guiding you to find another way? Overcoming procrastination and maintaining momentum require discipline, yes, but also a shift in perspective. It's about seeing every action, no matter how small, as a significant step towards your dream. It's about understanding that the path to achievement is paved with consistent daily actions aligned with your goals. So, how do you turn your obsession into the kind of action that leads to success? Start by defining the next step, no matter how small, and take it. Then take the next step, and the next. Let your obsession fuel not just your dreams, but your daily actions. Remember that dreams become reality not just through the power of obsession, but through the power of action. It's through your relentless focused efforts that your most ambitious goals come to life. Let your obsession drive you, but let your actions define you. Ask yourself, what one action can I take today that will move me closer to my goal? Let that question guide you. Let it push you to move beyond dreaming into doing. It's not just about being obsessed with your goals. It's about being obsessed with taking the action necessary to achieve them. Let your obsession become your greatest asset, driving you to innovate, to persist, and to ultimately succeed, no matter what challenges you face. Remember, the only difference between a dream and reality is the action you take to bridge the gap. Each thread represents a skill, a nugget of knowledge, or a piece of wisdom gained through experience. Imagine your dream, your obsession, as the masterpiece you're weaving. The richness of its detail, the depth of its beauty, all depend on the variety and quality of the threads you weave into it. This is where the role of continuous learning and skill acquisition becomes not just important, but fundamental. 
Think of the great achievers in history, the people who've shaped the world with their innovations, leadership, and creativity. What set them apart wasn't just their passion or obsession, it was their unwavering commitment to learning. They understood that to bring visions to life, they needed to arm themselves with the best tools possible, knowledge and skills. But how does one keep learning, especially in a world that's changing so rapidly? Here's the beauty of learning. It's not just about accumulating information. It's about developing the ability to adapt, to think critically, and to solve problems innovatively. To support your obsession and drive your success forward, start by identifying the skills most relevant to your goals. Ask yourself, what do I need to learn to make my dream a reality? This question is your compass, guiding your learning journey. Consider the wealth of resources at your disposal. We live in an age where information is more accessible than ever. Online courses, books, workshops, seminars. The opportunities for learning are limitless. But remember, the quality of what you learn is as important as the quantity. Seek out resources from credible sources. Learn from the best to become the best. Yet, knowledge and skills acquisition goes beyond formal education and self-study. One of the most powerful learning tools at your disposal is the experience of others. This is where mentors and networks come into play. A mentor, someone who has walked the path you're on, can offer invaluable insights, advice, and guidance. They can help you navigate challenges, avoid common pitfalls, and make informed decisions. Building a network of like-minded individuals, on the other hand, opens the door to a diverse array of perspectives, ideas, and opportunities. Engage with professional communities, attend industry events, and connect with peers online. Each interaction is a chance to learn something new, to share your own knowledge, and to build relationships that can support your journey. Now pause for a moment of reflection. Think about your current skill set and knowledge base. What areas do you excel in, and where do you see gaps? What skills could you develop further to fuel your obsession positively and propel you toward your goal? This reflection is not about dwelling on shortcomings, but about identifying opportunities for growth. Remember, the pursuit of knowledge and skills is a lifelong journey. There's no final destination, no point at which you can say, I've learned all there is to know. Embrace this journey with an open mind and a hungry heart. Let your obsession drive you, but let your commitment to learning guide you. Just like you set goals for other areas of your life, choose a skill you want to develop or an area of knowledge you want to deepen in the coming months. Then take concrete steps to achieve that goal. Whether it's enrolling in a course, finding a mentor, or joining a new professional group, take action. Remember that your dreams, your passions, are within reach. The path to understanding them is paved with the knowledge you acquire and the skills you develop. So keep learning, keep growing, keep moving forward. We often encounter obstacles that test our spirit, setbacks that challenge our resolve, and failures that can either break us or forge us into stronger beings. It's in these moments that the power of a positive obsession becomes not just a catalyst for success, but a foundation for resilience. Imagine for a moment you're faced with a setback. Maybe it's a project that didn't pan out as expected, a job opportunity that slipped through your fingers, or a personal goal that seems further out of reach than ever before. It's easy to feel disheartened, to question your path, and even to consider giving up. But what if instead, you chose to see this obstacle as a test of your resolve? Let me share a story that exemplifies this spirit of resilience. There was a scientist who faced rejection after rejection in his quest to bring his invention to the world. Each failure, instead of discouraging him, only fueled his obsession with his goal. This man, Thomas Edison, famously said, I have not failed, I've just found 10,000 ways that won't work. His obsession with creating a viable electric light bulb didn't just lead to one of the most significant inventions of the modern era. It also showcased an extraordinary resilience born from a relentless pursuit of a dream. Now consider your own life. Think about a time when you were knocked down by a challenge. How did you respond? Did you allow that setback to define you, or did? You use it as a stepping stone to come back stronger. Obsession in this context isn't about stubbornness or refusal to adapt. It's about having a clear vision that guides you, a purpose that drives you, and a resilience that sustains you. It's about waking up each day with a fire inside that says, I will not give up. I will learn from this. I will grow stronger. But how do you cultivate this kind of resilience? First, 
by understanding that failure is not the opposite of success, but a part of the success journey. Every setback is a lesson in disguise, an opportunity to refine your approach and strengthen your resolve. Second, by surrounding yourself with stories of resilience. History is replete with individuals who use their passion as a source of strength to overcome adversity. From athletes who overcame impossible odds to achieve glory to entrepreneurs who built empires from the ashes of their initial failures, these stories remind us that the path to success is often paved with setbacks. Third, by actively seeking out challenges. Resilience is like a muscle, it grows stronger with use. By stepping out of your comfort zone and embracing challenges, you're not just testing your limits, you're expanding them. Now, I invite you to take a moment to reflect. What are the sources of your resilience? Is it your passion for your work, the support of loved ones, a deeply held belief in your mission, or perhaps a combination of these? Once you've identified these sources, think about how you can strengthen them. How can you feed your passion, engage more deeply with your support network, or reaffirm your commitment to your goals? In every story of success, there's a chapter of struggle, of doubt, and of failure. But it's the obsession with a dream, a relentless pursuit of a goal, that turns the narrative around. It's the resilience born from this obsession that allows us to rise time and again from the ashes of our setbacks. Remember that resilience is not just about bouncing back, it's about moving forward with a deep understanding, strong commitment, and a clear vision. Let your obsession with your goals be the light that guides you through the darkness of failure. And when you face obstacles, as you undoubtedly will, don't let them discourage you. Instead, let them reinforce your strength, your purpose, and your unwavering determination to succeed. Remember, the journey to greatness is fraught with challenges, but it's your response to these challenges that defines your path. Let your obsession fuel your resilience, and let your resilience pave the way to your success. Navigating the delicate balance between a burning obsession for success and the foundational elements of personal well-being and relationships is a dance as old as time. The journey toward achieving our dreams, fueled by an unwavering focus, can sometimes lead us down a path where the lines between passion and obsession blur, and the scales tip, potentially jeopardizing our health and the bonds we share with those around us. Never for a moment should we forget the tale of an entrepreneur driven by a vision so compelling that every waking hour is consumed by the pursuit of that dream. While admirable, this relentless drive can cast a shadow on personal well-being and strain the very relationships that form the support network vital for enduring success. It's a scenario far too common among the highly driven individuals among us. Yeah, it's within this narrative that we find crucial lessons on managing obsession without losing ourselves or those we hold dear in the process. The key lies in recognizing the importance of supportive relationships in sustaining not just a healthy obsession, but a balanced life. Our relationships offer perspectives that enrich our understanding, provide comfort during times of uncertainty, and celebrate with us in moments of triumph. They are the anchors that keep us grounded amid the tumultuous seas of our pursuits. So how does one maintain this equilibrium? It begins with self-awareness, recognizing the signs when our obsession starts to eclipse other aspects of our life. Are you finding it increasingly difficult to disconnect from work? Do your loved ones express concerns about your well-being or the time you spend together? These questions serve as canaries in the coal mine, alerting us to take stock and recalibrate. Integration rather than separation of our goals with personal well-being and relationships becomes paramount. It's about making conscious choices that honor our commitments to our dreams, while also nurturing our health and cherishing our relationships. This could mean setting boundaries for work, dedicating time for rest and rejuvenation, and ensuring quality moments with loved ones are part of your routine, not an afterthought. An effective strategy is to involve your support network in your journey, share your goals, the challenges you face, and the milestones you achieve. This inclusion creates a shared experience, making your personal connection stronger and more resilient, providing a bedrock of support that's indispensable in times of need. Managing obsession necessitates prioritizing your well-being. Physical health, mental clarity, and emotional stability are the engines that drive us toward our goals. Neglecting these in the name of obsession is akin to draining the fuel that powers your journey. Regular exercise, mindful practices, and hobbies outside of your work can rejuvenate your spirit, inspire creativity, and enhance productivity, ensuring that your obsession propels you forward rather than holding you back. 
What steps can you take today to ensure that your drive toward your goals enhances rather than detracts from your well-being and relationships? How can you make your loved ones not just spectators, but partners in your journey? Remember that the pursuit of our dreams through a healthy passion can illuminate our lives, enriching them with purpose, fulfillment, and happiness. It should not overshadow the essential elements that make life truly worth living, our health and our relationships. Maintaining this balance is not only beneficial, it is essential for long-term success and happiness. Let your obsession be the wind in your sails, but let the compass of well-being and the anchor of supportive relationships guide your journey. In doing so, you'll find that the path to your dreams is not just achievable, but rewarding in every aspect of your life. Ponder on the true essence of obsession. It's a force that, when harnessed with intent and direction, has the power not just to transform individual lives, but to make a profound impact on the world at large. Today, I invite you to consider a broader vision, channeling your obsession not solely for personal achievements, but for contributing to the greater good, for making a difference that resonates through generations. Reflect for a moment on the story of a young girl passionate about the environment who started a movement from a single act of protesting against climate change. Her relentless dedication and clear vision drew millions to the cause, sparking a global conversation on sustainability and action. This young woman, Greta Thunberg, turned her obsession with saving the planet into a catalyst for global environmental activism. Her story is a testament to how a single focused obsession can galvanize change and awaken the consciousness of humanity. But the journey doesn't end here. Think of the innovators, the dreamers who looked beyond the horizon and saw a world not as it was, but as it could be. Consider the Wright brothers, obsessed with the idea of flight, enduring countless failures and skepticism. Yet their unwavering focus and dedication to their dream gave humanity the gift of the skies, transforming how we connect across vast distances. Now bring this closer to home. Imagine what could happen if each one of us redirected even a fraction of our obsession towards causes and challenges that touch lives beyond our own. Whether it's innovating sustainable technologies, volunteering for a social cause, or simply spreading kindness and empathy, the potential for positive impact is limitless. But how do we begin? It starts with the question, what am I passionate about beyond my personal goals? Is it education, health, environmental conservation, or social justice. Identifying this passion is the first step towards making your obsession a force for good. Consider the skills and knowledge you've amassed in pursuit of your personal ambitions. How can these be repurposed or adapted to address the challenges faced by your community or the world? The path to making a difference often requires us to look at our abilities through a new lens, finding innovative applications for our talents. In this journey of harnessing obsession for good, remember the importance of collaboration. No significant change was ever achieved in isolation. Engage with communities, join forces with like-minded individuals, and leverage networks to amplify your impact. It's in the unity of purpose and action that we find the strength to move mountains. What is one cause that resonates with you deeply? How can you contribute to this cause with the same zeal and passion you apply to your personal goals? Remember, the goal is not to diminish the importance of personal success, but to expand the canvas of your obsession, to include the well-being of others and the planet. Let this not just be a call to action, but a call to transformation, a reimagining of obsession as a powerful tool for creating a legacy of positive change. As you continue to chase your dreams with fervor and dedication, let the echoes of your efforts contribute to a symphony of progress, innovation, and compassion that uplifts humanity. Let your obsession not just illuminate your path, but light the way for others. Turning dreams into reality, challenges into achievements, and individual success into collective triumph. The impact you can make is only limited by the breadth of your vision and the depth of your commitment. Use your passion for the greater good, building a world where success is measured not only by personal achievements, but by the positive change we affect in the lives of others. We have explored the intricate dance between obsession and success, between dreams and the relentless pursuit needed to bring them to life. Take a moment to reflect on the journey we've embarked upon today, not just in words, but in the transformational thoughts and actions that lie ahead. We began by redefining obsession, painting it not as a shadow lurking in the corners of ambition, but as a beacon of light guiding us toward our true potential. Remember, 
It's that burning desire within you, as vital as the very air you breathe, that has the power to transform the impossible into the inevitable. We've seen through the lens of history and the stories of those who've walked before us, that when channeled positively, obsession becomes the very fabric of success. It's about clarity of goal, relentless action toward achieving it, and the resilience to rise above every challenge encountered along the way. But let's not forget, this journey isn't solely about personal achievement. It's also about how our obsessions can serve a greater purpose, how they can touch lives, transform communities, and indeed change the world. It's about harnessing that fiery energy not just for our own success, but for the betterment of all. As we spend our time together, embrace our passion. Don't let them be mere whispers in the back of your mind, but let them be loud, commanding voices that drive you forward. Improve your focus, because clarity of vision is the compass by which you will navigate the turbulences of desire. And above all, take action. Dreams, no matter how vivid, remain figments of the imagination that one does not dare to pursue. You might wonder, how do I begin? The answer lies within you. It starts with a single step, a decision to move forward despite fear, despite uncertainty. It's in that first step that the journey from dream to reality begins. So ask yourself, what step can I take today? What action, however small, can move me closer to my dream? This is your moment, your turning point. The path to greatness lies before you, illuminated by the light of your own obsession. It's a path that demands courage, resilience, and an unwavering commitment to excellence. Remember, you are not alone. Surround yourself with those who share your passion. Seek out mentors who have walked the path before, and build a network of support that will sustain you through the journey. Your obsession is your greatest asset, your compass and your guide. It is the fuel for your journey and the wind beneath your wings. Embrace it, nurture it, and let it drive you toward your destiny. Move forward with confidence and determination. Let your passion be the key that unlocks the door to your dreams. Pursue your goals with passion, with purpose, and with an unwavering belief in your ability to achieve greatness. Remember, the only limits that exist are those you place upon yourself. Break free from those chains, Set your sights high, and chase your dreams with the full force of your obsession. It's not merely about achieving success, but about becoming the person you are always meant to be. Your obsession, your path to greatness, awaits. Today I want to emphasize the key concept of showing your best self to others. Let me illustrate this with a story that perfectly encapsulates what it means to act as if you are unstoppable. Imagine a small, seemingly insignificant stream that originates high up in the mountains. This stream encounters numerous obstacles on its journey toward the vast ocean, sharp rocks, deep falls, and tight spaces. Yet, it never ceases its journey. It persists, adapts, and eventually transforms into a mighty river, unstoppable in its quest to reach the sea. This story isn't just about water. It's about each of us. It's about the power of self-belief and determination. We all face obstacles in our lives, much like the stream. But what makes us unstoppable isn't the absence of obstacles, but our determination to overcome them. Have you ever felt like giving up when faced with a challenge? We all have. It's human. But here's the thing. The moment you decide not to give up, the moment you choose to believe in yourself, that's when the magic happens. That's when you become unstoppable. Self-belief isn't just about thinking positively. It's about acting with confidence even when you're unsure of the outcome. It's about showing the world your best side even when you're still a work in progress. And most importantly, it's about not waiting for permission to shine. Remember, the stream didn't become mighty by avoiding obstacles, but by facing them head on. And just like that stream, you have within you the power to overcome anything that stands in your way. So let's move forward with this mindset. Be like the stream. Adapt, persist, and never stop moving toward your goals. Because that, my friends, is how you show the world your best side. Now let's delve into a profound truth that often goes unnoticed. The inherent potential within each of us. Every person sitting here today, including you, is equipped with an unimaginable capacity to overcome challenges. Yet, ironically, it's quite common for us to underestimate our abilities, to sell ourselves short. Why? Because we haven't fully embraced our unstoppable nature. 
Consider the story of the bumblebee. By all aerodynamic laws, the bumblebee should not be able to fly. Its body is too heavy for its wings. And yet, the bumblebee flies. Why? Because it doesn't know it can't. This simple yet powerful anecdote serves as a metaphor for human potential. Just like the bumblebee, we are often unaware of our true capabilities until we are compelled to act, until we face a challenge that requires us to tap into our innate strengths. How often have you faced a situation that seemed insurmountable, only to find out that you had the strength to overcome it? It happens more often than we acknowledge. Statistics show that when faced with adversity, individuals who tap into their resilience not only overcome the challenges, but also emerge stronger. People who have faced and conquered adversity exhibit higher levels of self-confidence and determination. So, let me share with you the story of Michael is an inspiring one. Michael was an average student, often overlooked by his teachers and peers. He dreamt of becoming a scientist, but almost everyone around him doubted his capabilities. Yet Michael had a burning passion and an unwavering belief in his dream. He spent countless hours studying, experimenting, and learning beyond the curriculum. Years later, Michael became one of the most influential scientists of his time. His discoveries have changed the way we understand the world. Michael's journey from an average student to a world-renowned scientist underscores a critical lesson. We often underestimate our potential until we push beyond our perceived limits. So, why do we underestimate ourselves? The answer lies in our hesitation to step out of our comfort zones, to challenge the status quo. We fear failure, ridicule, and rejection. But here's the thing. Every successful person you admire, every hero you look up to, has faced and overcome similar fears. They weren't born with an extraordinary ability to succeed. They simply chose to believe in their potential and acted upon it. Let's engage in a little exercise. Think of a goal you've long held but have hesitated to pursue. Now ask yourself, what's holding you back? Is it fear? Is it a lack of belief in your own abilities? Imagine for a moment that you've already achieved this goal. Feel the sense of accomplishment, the pride, and the joy. This exercise isn't just a fanciful daydream. It's a powerful tool to remind you of your inherent potential, your unstoppable nature. To fully embrace your unstoppable nature, you must first recognize that the only limits that exist are the ones you place on yourself. Remember the story of the bumblebee and like Michael, choose to pursue your dreams with relentless determination. It's time to stop underestimating yourself. It's time to acknowledge and embrace the vast reservoir of potential that lies within you. I'm here to share insights and strategies on a concept that, when embraced, can transform your path to success. The power of positive thinking. Now this isn't just about seeing the glass half full. It's about recognizing that the lens through which you view your world shapes your reality, your actions, and ultimately your success. Let's embark on a little exploration of mindset. Picture two individuals both faced with identical challenges. One sees these challenges as barriers, insurmountable and daunting. The other views them as opportunities, stepping stones to learning and growth. What differentiates these two? Their mindset. It's the cornerstone upon which success is built. A positive mindset sees potential. A negative one sees limitations. So, how do we cultivate this transformative mindset? The journey begins with visualization. It's a tool not just for dreamers, but for achievers. Visualization is about seeing your goals as already accomplished, feeling the success, the achievements, and the joy. It's about creating a mental image so vivid that your mind starts to work towards making it a reality. Athletes use it to picture themselves crossing the finish line. Business leaders use it to envision successful outcomes. Start by visualizing your goals daily, feel the success, immerse yourself in it, and you'll start to move towards it. But visualization is just one piece of the puzzle. Let's talk about affirmations. They are positive, empowering statements that, when repeated, can reprogram your subconscious mind. They reinforce your visualization, beginning your day with affirmations like, I am capable of achieving my goals, or, I approach challenges with strength and wisdom. Speak them, believe them, and watch how they transform your attitude and actions. Consider this. How often do we limit ourselves with self-doubt and negativity? More often than you might think. It's like having an internal dialogue that constantly undermines our efforts. 
Changing that dialogue is key. Start with your affirmations and visualizations, but don't stop there. Another practical tip is to practice gratitude. Gratitude shifts your focus from what's missing to what's present. It's about appreciating the small wins, the lessons learned from failures, and the simple joys. Keep a gratitude journal. Every night, write down three things you were grateful for that day. It could be as simple as a conversation that uplifted you, or a problem you solved. This practice can significantly shift your perspective, fostering a more positive outlook. Let me share a story that brings this to life. Sarah, a young entrepreneur, was on the brink of giving up her startup dream due to continuous setbacks. She started to implement these techniques, visualizing her successful business each morning, repeating affirmations that she was capable and strong, and ending her day with gratitude for even the smallest progress. Slowly, her perspective changed. Challenges became less daunting, solutions more apparent. Today, her startup is not just surviving, it's thriving. Sarah's story is a testament to the power of a positive mindset fueled by visualization, affirmations, and gratitude. Remember, adopting a positive mindset isn't about ignoring reality or pretending problems don't exist. It's about choosing to focus on solutions, growth, and progress. It's about reminding yourself that you have the strength to overcome obstacles and the resilience to bounce back from setbacks. Visualize your success clearly, affirm your abilities, and cultivate gratitude for your journey. These are not the only ways to achieve professional success. They are tools to improve your life. One of the most critical steps we can take is setting clear and ambitious goals. Goals serve as the roadmap to our desired destination, guiding us through the twists and turns of our path to success. Without clear goals, we're like a ship without a rudder, drifting aimlessly in an ocean of possibilities, susceptible to the currents of circumstance and change. But with them, we have a direction, a purpose, and a measure of progress. Now let's dive into the process of setting effective and motivational goals. The first step is to dream big. Allow yourself to envision the grandest possibilities for your life. Think about what you truly desire, not what others expect of you, not what seems real by conventional standards, but what ignites a fire in your heart. Remember, the most successful people in the world didn't achieve greatness by thinking small. However, Dreaming big isn't enough. Our dreams must be transformed into actionable goals. This is where the principle of specificity comes into play. A goal must be clear and well-defined. Instead of saying, I want to be successful, specify what success looks like to you. Does it mean owning a business, publishing a book, or becoming financially independent? The more specific your goal, the clearer the path to achieving it. But specificity alone isn't the key to effective goal setting. Your goals must also be measurable. You need to know, without a shadow of a doubt, when you have achieved them. If your goal is to become financially independent, define what that means. Is it having a certain amount in savings, generating a specific passive income, or being debt-free? Measurable goals allow you to track your progress and stay motivated. Let me share a story that beautifully illustrates the power of setting specific, measurable goals. John was a middle-aged man working a job he didn't love, dreaming of starting his own business. His dream remained just that, a dream, until he decided to set a clear goal. He said, By the end of this year, I will have launched my own online store specializing in handmade crafts and generate at least $5,000 in sales. This specific, measurable goal transformed John's dream into a concrete plan of action. He knew exactly what he needed to do and by when. Fast forward to the end of the year, not only had John launched his online store, but he had also exceeded his sales target. Now setting goals is one thing, but achieving them is another. This is where the importance of writing down your goals comes into play. There's something incredibly powerful about putting pen to paper. It makes your goals real, tangible, and harder to ignore. Write down your goals and place them where you can see them every day. This constant visual reminder will keep you focused and motivated. But even the best laid plans can go awry without deadlines. Deadlines are the engine behind your goals, propelling you forward with a sense of urgency. They help you prioritize, manage your time effectively, and maintain momentum. Set realistic deadlines for your goals and hold yourself accountable. Accountability leads us to the next crucial aspect of goal setting. Action plans. 
For each goal, develop a step-by-step -step plan outlining what needs to be done, by when, and by whom. If you're working with a team, break your goals down into smaller manageable tasks and tackle them one at a time. Celebrate each small victory along the way. It will fuel your motivation to keep going. Let me remind you of the significance of flexibility in goal setting. While it's essential to be committed to your goals, it's equally important to be adaptable. Life is unpredictable, and circumstances change. Be prepared to adjust your goals and action plans as needed. Flexibility doesn't mean giving up on your goals. It means being resilient and resourceful in the face of challenges. Building unstoppable confidence is akin to constructing a majestic bridge. Just as a bridge requires a solid foundation, precise engineering, and the right materials to withstand the forces of nature, building confidence requires a foundation of self-belief, strategic actions, and the reinforcement of positive experiences. The relationship between confidence and action is symbiotic. Confidence inspires action, and action, in turn, fuels confidence. Consider the act of learning to ride a bike. Initially, there's hesitation, a lack of belief in one's ability to stay upright. However, with each pedal stroke, with each moment that balance is maintained, confidence begins to swell. It doesn't emerge out of thin air. It's built through the action of riding, through the small winds of not falling, and ultimately, in the triumphant moment when riding becomes second nature. This illustrates a fundamental truth. Action is not just the result of confidence, but also its most significant builder. So, how do we translate this understanding into building unstoppable confidence in our lives? Let's delve into strategies that can guide us on this journey. Firstly, embrace the power of small wins. Confidence is not built overnight, nor does it result from a single grand achievement. It's cultivated through the accumulation of small victories. Set yourself small, achievable goals. It could be as simple as completing a task you've been postponing, or making a phone call you've been dreading. Each small win acts as a brick in the edifice of your confidence, reinforcing the belief in your capabilities. Skill development plays a crucial role in this process. Every new skill acquired is a boost to your confidence. It's evidence of your capacity to learn, adapt, and grow. Therefore, commit to lifelong learning. Identify skills that will enhance your personal or professional life, and dedicate time to mastering them. The process of learning itself, with its ups and downs, challenges, and triumphs, is a fertile ground for confidence building. Positive reinforcement is another crucial element. It's essential to recognize and celebrate your achievements, no matter how small they may seem. Self-recognition is a powerful form of positive reinforcement that validates your efforts and achievements. Additionally, surround yourself with people who uplift and encourage you. Their support can act as a mirror, reflecting your strengths and victories, often when you're most in need of seeing them. Now allow me to share a story that encapsulates these principles. Maria, once a timid public speaker, dreamt of captivating audiences with her words. Her journey began with small steps. She started by speaking to small groups, celebrating each presentation where she felt more comfortable, each question she answered with more assurance. She invested time in developing her skills attending workshops, and practicing tirelessly. With each small win, her confidence grew. Positive feedback from her peers served as reinforcement, encouraging her to take on bigger stages. Today, Maria is a sought-after speaker, known for her engaging and confident presentations. Her story is a testament to the power of building confidence through action, skill development, and positive reinforcement. We often encounter formidable adversaries not in the form of external obstacles, but as internal ones. Fear and doubt. These mental barriers can be more challenging to overcome than any physical hurdle. Yet, confronting and overcoming them is crucial for progress. Let's delve into these common fears and doubts. There's the fear of failure, which paralyzes action and breeds procrastination. There's the fear of rejection, which stifles our desire to try to reach out, and to connect. And then, there's the fear of the unknown, a vast, nebulous apprehension that clouds our vision and blunts our ambition. Coupled with these fears are doubts about our abilities, our worth, and our potential to achieve what we set out to do. So, how do we confront these fears and doubts? How do we dismantle these mental barriers? The first step is acknowledgement. Recognize that fear and doubt are natural emotions. They're part of the human experience. 
signaling not our inadequacy, but our growth. Acknowledgement without judgment allows us to address these emotions without being overwhelmed by them. Once we've acknowledged our fears and doubts, the next step is to challenge them. Ask yourself, what evidence do I have that supports this fear or doubt? More often than not, you'll find the evidence lacking. For every fear of failure, remind yourself of the times you've succeeded or when failure led to unexpected opportunities. For every doubt about your abilities, recount the challenges you've overcome and the skills you've mastered. Challenge these negative beliefs with positive affirmations and evidence of your competence and worth. But challenging fear and doubt mentally isn't enough. We must also confront them through action. Action is both the antidote to fear and the remedy for doubt. Start small. Take one step towards your goal, however modest. Each action you take builds momentum, and with momentum comes confidence. Remember, fear and doubt thrive in inaction. They lose their power when confronted with determined effort. Let me share a story that embodies this principle. Emily, a talented artist, harbored dreams of showcasing her work, but was crippled by the fear of rejection. The thought of others not appreciating her art held her back for years. One day, she decided to confront this fear head on. She started by sharing her artwork online, a small step that required overcoming a mountain of doubt. The positive feedback she received was overwhelming, not just in praise, but in constructive criticism, which she used to refine her craft. Emily's small step of action led to her first gallery exhibition. Her journey from paralyzing fear to triumphant exhibition underscores a powerful truth. Confronting fear with action leads to growth and success. Another effective strategy for overcoming fear and doubt is to build a support network. Surround yourself with individuals who believe in you, who encourage you, and who can provide a different perspective on your fears and doubts. Sometimes the reassurance we need can't come from within. It needs to be echoed by those we trust. Visualization also plays a crucial role in overcoming mental barriers. Visualize yourself succeeding, achieving your goals, and conquering your fears. This mental rehearsal prepares you psychologically, reinforcing your belief in your ability to succeed. Persistence is the thread that binds ambition to achievement, desire to realization. Today I want to delve into the quintessential virtue that has been the cornerstone of every great achievement. Persistence. It's the relentless pursuit of your goals. The unwavering commitment to your dreams, despite the multitude of setbacks and failures that inevitably dot the path to success. Let's reflect on the stories of individuals who, through sheer persistence, have etched their names in the annals of history. Consider the journey of Thomas Edison, whose name has become synonymous with innovation and persistence. Edison faced a staggering 10,000 failed attempts before he successfully created the electric light bulb. When asked about his failures, Edison famously remarked, I have not failed. I've just found 10,000 ways that won't work. This story is a powerful reminder that success often follows countless attempts and failures, each one a stepping stone towards achievement. Another emblem of persistence is J.K. Rowling, the author of the Harry Potter series. Rowling faced rejection from 12 publishing houses before Bloomsbury finally accepted her manuscript. At the time, she was a single mother living on welfare, struggling to make ends meet. Yet, she persisted, fueled by belief in her story and its potential to captivate readers. Today, Harry Potter stands as a global phenomenon, inspiring millions of readers and aspiring writers worldwide. Ring's journey underscores the importance of perseverance in the face of rejection and the value of steadfast belief in one's work. But persistence is not just about monumental achievements, it's also about the small, everyday acts of determination. Consider the story of Michael, a young man with a passion for running. Michael wasn't the fastest in his team, nor the most naturally gifted. But what set him apart was his persistence. Day after day, he trained, pushing himself to his limits, learning from each race and setback. Over time, his persistence paid off. He didn't become an Olympic athlete, but he achieved his personal bests, and most importantly, realized his potential. Michael's story is a testament to the power of persistence in personal growth and the pursuit of personal goals. The value of perseverance in the face of setbacks and failures cannot be overstated. Each setback, each failure, is an opportunity to learn, to grow, and to come back stronger. It's the resilience to keep going when everything seems to be against you. 
But how do we cultivate such persistence? Firstly, it's essential to have a clear vision of what you're working towards. A well-defined goal serves as a beacon, guiding you through the toughest times. Secondly, break down your goals into smaller manageable tasks. Celebrate each small victory, each step forward, as these are the milestones that pave the path to success. And thirdly, surround yourself with a support system, people who believe in you, encourage you, and remind you of your goals. Persistence is the silent warrior in the battle for success. It's the force that propels you forward when the odds are stacked against you, the inner strength that turns dreams into realities. Embrace persistence with open arms. Let us commit to our goals with renewed vigor, undeterred by the inevitable challenges that lie ahead. For in the words of Calvin Coolidge, nothing in this world can take the place of persistence. Talent will not. Nothing is more common than unsuccessful men with talent. Genius will not. Unrewarded genius is almost a proverb. Education will not. The world is full of educated derelicts. Persistence and determination alone are omnipotent. Setbacks and failures are not merely chapters of despair, but pivotal moments of learning and enlightenment. Every setback, every failure, harbors the potential to be a profound learning opportunity, a catalyst for introspection, adaptation, and eventual triumph. Let's delve into understanding how these moments, often perceived as negative, are in fact invaluable lessons in disguise, and how we can analyze and learn from these experiences to navigate future obstacles more adeptly. Imagine for a moment, the process of learning to walk as infants. We didn't understand the concept of failure as we do now. Each fall was merely a part of the process, not a final judgment on our ability to walk. With each tumble, we learned something new about balance, about effort, and about perseverance. This natural inclination to learn from setbacks is something we tend to lose as we grow older, overshadowed by our fear of failure. Yet, it's this very process, this cycle of trying, failing, learning, and trying again, that drives true progress. Consider the story of a pioneering entrepreneur whose journey was fraught with failures. Each venture seemed promising at the outset, but eventually crumbled due to various unforeseen challenges. However, instead of viewing these failures as the end of the road, the entrepreneur approached them as learning opportunities. He meticulously analyzed each setback, identifying specific areas for improvement in market research, product development, or customer engagement. These insights became the foundation upon which she built her subsequent ventures, each more successful than the last. Her story exemplifies the transformative power of embracing setbacks as stepping stones toward success. How then can we cultivate this mindset? How do we ensure that we not only endure setbacks but emerge from them enriched and better equipped for the future? First and foremost, it's crucial to detach our self-worth from our failures. A setback in a project, a missed opportunity, or a venture gone awry does not diminish our value as individuals or professionals. By maintaining this perspective, we free ourselves to objectively analyze the situation without the cloud of personal defeat. Once we've established this detachment, the next step is to conduct a thorough postmortem of the setback. This involves asking hard questions. What went wrong? Were there warning signs that were ignored? What could have been done differently? This process requires honesty and often the input of trusted colleagues or mentors who can offer unbiased perspectives. Equally important is the identification of lessons learned. Every setback teaches us something about the market, about our strategies, about ourselves. It's these lessons that should be the focus, distilled into actionable insights that can guide future decisions and strategies. Documenting these experiences and their resultant lessons creates a personal playbook of sorts, a repository of knowledge that can be referred to when faced with similar challenges in the future. This documentation process solidifies the learning and makes it accessible not just to ourselves, but to our teams and peers. Let me share another story that highlights the practical application of these principles. A young scientist spent years researching a novel drug, only to find it ineffective in clinical trials, a devastating setback. However, instead of discarding his work, he analyzed his research to understand why the drug failed. This analysis revealed a flaw in the initial hypothesis that, when addressed, led to the development of a different highly effective treatment. His ability to learn from setbacks not only led to a significant breakthrough, but also advanced the field of medicine. 
The importance of surrounding ourselves with the right people cannot be overstated. The relationships we cultivate and the networks we build have a profound influence on our journey towards our goals. They can either propel us forward with encouragement and inspiration or hold us back with negativity and doubt. Consider for a moment the analogy of a gardener tending to a garden. Just as the gardener carefully selects plants that will flourish together, fostering a supportive and nurturing environment, we too must be selective about the people we choose to spend our time with. These individuals are mentors, peers and partners, forming the ecosystem of our personal and professional lives. They influence our thoughts, actions, and ultimately our success. Finding mentors who have walked the path before us is crucial. A mentor is not just a guide. They are a beacon of wisdom gained through experience, a sounding board for our ideas, and sometimes a voice of reason when we're veering off course. But how do you find such mentors? Start by identifying individuals you admire within your field or area of interest. Reach out to them with genuine curiosity and respect for their expertise. Remember, mentorship is a two-way street. It's about building a relationship, not just seeking advice. Equally important is surrounding ourselves with peers who share our aspirations and values. These are the people who understand our struggles and triumphs because they are on similar journeys. They provide a sense of camaraderie and mutual support that is invaluable. To find such peers, immerse yourself in communities and networks relevant to your goals. Attend workshops, join clubs, or participate in online forums. Engage actively and contribute to these communities. Over time, you'll find individuals with whom you resonate. Partners play a pivotal role as well. Whether they are business partners, collaborators on a project, or life partners, Having someone who shares your vision and complements your strengths can amplify your efforts. Finding the right partners requires clarity about your own goals and values, as well as open communication about expectations and boundaries. Look for individuals whose skills and perspectives enhance your own, and who view challenges as opportunities for growth. Now let me share a story that brings this concept to life. Sarah and Alex met at a conference, both young entrepreneurs with a passion for sustainable technology. They discovered a shared vision for creating eco-friendly products. Initially, they collaborated on small projects, leveraging each other's strengths. Sarah's creativity combined with Alex's technical expertise led to innovations neither could have achieved alone. Their partnership, built on mutual respect and shared values, eventually resulted in the launch of a successful startup. Their story exemplifies how the right partner can turn a vision into reality. To foster these relationships, it's essential to be proactive. Attend events, reach out for coffee meetings, and don't be afraid to ask questions. Be genuine in your interactions, and show appreciation for the guidance and support you receive. Remember, building meaningful relationships takes time and effort. As we prepare to part ways, I urge you not to let the inspiration and determination you feel at this moment fade into the background noise of daily life. Start today. Take immediate action towards your goals, no matter how small that first step might be. Whether it's drafting a plan, reaching out to a potential mentor, or simply deciding to view a recent setback as a learning opportunity, act with the knowledge that you are capable of overcoming any obstacle that stands in your way. Act as if you are unstoppable, not because you lack fear or doubt, but because you choose to move forward in spite of them. Embrace the challenges and uncertainties with courage, knowing that each step forward, no matter how tentative, is a step towards realizing your dreams. Carry with you the belief in your unbreakable soul, in the power to shape your own destiny. Let stories, strategies, and insights together become tools in your arsenal as you move forward on your unstoppable journey. Remember, the only limits are the ones you place on yourself. Break free from these barriers and step into a world of endless possibilities. Get out there and show the world the power of an unstoppable spirit. Start today because there's no better time to become the architect of your own destiny. Thank you and remember, you are unstoppable. Once there was someone who faced a challenge so daunting that it seemed like an insurmountable mountain. This wasn't a tale from an ancient book or a story passed down through generations. It was the experience of someone very much like you and me. Standing at the crossroads of what was and what could be, faced with the prospect of failure, this person found something extraordinary within. A reservoir of self-belief so strong that it turned the tide. Self-belief, often whispered about in the corridors of personal development, isn't just a fancy term. It's the foundation upon which the skyscrapers of our dreams are built. 
It's what fuels us when the world throws its worst, pushing us to achieve goals that seem just beyond our grasp. Consider for a moment the power that lies in truly believing in your own capabilities. It's not just about thinking you can do something. It's about knowing it with such conviction that every fiber of your being is aligned towards your goal. The journey through life is punctuated with challenges, each serving as a test of our resilience and determination. Rather than seeing these obstacles as barriers, we can choose to view them as opportunities for growth. Each challenge is a lesson waiting to teach us something about ourselves or the path we're on. By embracing these moments with positivity, we transform what could be setbacks into stepping stones towards our ultimate success in navigating the unpredictable waters of life. Remember that the essence of our journey isn't defined by the absence of challenges, but by our response to them. With every step forward fueled by an unwavering belief in ourselves, we carve out our destiny. This is the story of someone who dared to believe, who chose to see challenges not as obstacles but as opportunities. This understanding guides us illuminating the path from what was to what could be, and reminding us that within each of us lies the power to shape our own futures. Where each of us plays a myriad of roles, there's a powerful script that few discover, and even fewer choose to follow. It's titled, Act As If, a simple yet transformative strategy that has the potential to rewrite our stories from tales of what could have been, to sagas of what we've achieved. Act As If is not just a mantra, but a method. A way of trickling into the depths of our potential, and bringing to the surface the greatness that resides within us all. It's about embodying the character you aspire to become, living out the chapter of your life as though you've already reached your goals. This principle nudges us towards the realization of our dreams, powered by the engine of positive thinking and the magic of self-fulfilling prophecies. Consider for a moment the psychology behind this powerful approach. Our minds are fertile grounds where the seeds of our thoughts, whether positive or negative, take root and flourish. By acting as if we have already achieved our goals, we plant seeds of positivity and success in our subconscious. These seeds then grow, influencing our actions, shaping our attitudes, and molding our realities. It's a dance between belief and behavior, each step choreographed by the music of our own thoughts. This dance is not a solo performance. History and the present are rich with stories of individuals who've embraced the act-as-if principle, turning their visions into realities. There's a tale of the aspiring author who, despite countless rejections, continued to introduce herself as a successful writer at every opportunity. She acted as if the world had already embraced her stories, and in doing so, she stepped into the shoes of the character she longed to become. Eventually, the world caught up with her conviction, and her books found their home on the shelves of millions. Another story is that of a young entrepreneur whose vision for his business far exceeded the modest reality of his startup. He conducted every meeting, crafted every proposal, and pursued every opportunity with the confidence and diligence of a seasoned CEO of a Fortune 500 company. His act-as-if mentality permeated his work, inspiring his team and attracting the attention of investors. Today, his company stands as a testament to the power of belief, a beacon for others to follow. These stories, and countless others, serve as powerful reminders that the stage of life offers us all a choice. We can either play the roles we've been handed, constrained by our doubts and fears, or we can write our own scripts, directing our paths with the conviction of our beliefs. Embrace the act-as-if principle with your whole being. It is the light that guides us through the darkness of uncertainty, the spark that ignites the fire of ambition, and the compass that guides us to the fulfillment of our deepest desires. Because in the process of becoming, we uncover the full extent of our potential, learning that the only limits are the ones we place on ourselves. We often find our ships sailing through waters filled with the noise of external doubts and skepticism. This cacophony, if left unchecked, has the power to veer us off course, away from our destined port of dreams achieved and potentials realized. It's a universal challenge, one that requires not just awareness, but a deliberate strategy to navigate successfully. The world around us, rich in diversity, is also rampant with voices quick to question, to doubt, and at times, to diminish the flame of our aspirations. This noise, a blend of skepticism from others, and the echoed fears of our own making, can cloud our vision, diluting the purity of our intentions, and the clarity of our goals. The key to moving forward then lies not in attempting to silence these voices, 
often beyond our control, but in learning to navigate through them with our eyes fixed on the horizon of our aspirations. To wade through this sea of negativity requires a compass forged from the steel of focus and determination. One effective strategy is the art of selective listening, a technique that involves consciously choosing which feedback to acknowledge and which to let slide past us like water off a duck's back. It's about distinguishing between constructive criticism, which can serve as a ladder to climb higher, and baseless negativity, which seeks to pull us into the depths of doubt. Another vital technique is the cultivation of a positive inner dialogue, a sanctuary of encouragement and affirmation within ourselves. This involves replacing every seed of doubt planted by external negativity with twice as many seeds of self-belief and determination. It's a practice of reminding ourselves of our strengths, our past successes, and our unwavering commitment to our goals. By doing so, we create an internal echo chamber of positivity, one that drowns out the noise of skepticism with the symphony of our potential. Perhaps the most profound strategy lies in the embrace of solitude and reflection. In the quiet moments spent away from the hustle and bustle of the world, we find the clarity and conviction that often elude us in the company of others. Solitude offers us a mirror reflecting not the doubts cast by the world, but the truth of our inner strength and determination. It is in these moments of reflection that we can realign our compass, recalibrating our course with the stars of our deepest desires and aspirations. Moreover, solitude serves as fertile ground for the growth of our goals. In the silence, away from the clamor of external opinions, our goals can whisper their secrets to us, revealing the steps we need to take, the changes we need to make, and the growth we need to embrace. It is here, in the quietude, that the seeds of our aspirations can take root, nurtured by the waters of reflection and the warmth of our unwavering focus. Remember that the noise of external doubts, while omnipresent, holds no power over the direction of our voyage unless we grant it. So armed with the strategies of selective listening, positive inner dialogue, and the embrace of solitude and reflection, we can navigate through the stormiest of seas. These practices be our compass, guiding us through the noise towards the shores of our dreams realized and potentials unleashed. In the rich tapestry of personal and professional success, one thread stands out, vibrant and resilient against the backdrop of challenges and triumphs. Self-confidence. This isn't merely a trait one is born with, nor is it a gift bestowed upon a fortunate few. It is instead a fortress we construct, brick by brick, with our own hands through our experiences, our failures, and our victories. Self-confidence is the firm ground upon which the foundation of success is laid, allowing us to stand tall against the winds of doubt and uncertainty. To cultivate a garden of self-confidence, one must first understand that it begins with the soil of self-esteem. Like nurturing a delicate plant, building self-confidence requires care, patience, and most importantly, consistent effort. It involves watering the seeds of positive self-perception daily ensuring that the weeds of negative self-talk are promptly removed. This garden, once flourishing, becomes the bedrock of our endeavors, pushing us to reach for heights previously deemed unreachable. The journey to bolstering self-confidence is paved with practical steps, each acting as a stepping stone towards realizing our full potential. The first step is to set small, achievable goals, celebrating each victory, no matter how minor it may seem. These victories, like sparks, Ignite the flame of self-confidence, illuminating our path forward. As we achieve these goals, we not only prove to ourselves that we are capable, but also build a momentum that propels us towards more significant challenges. Another pivotal step is to practice positive self-talk. The language we use with ourselves shapes our reality, our perceptions, and ultimately, our actions. By replacing self-doubt with affirmations of our abilities and worth, we forge an armor of confidence impenetrable by the arrows of external criticism. This practice, simple yet profoundly impactful, transforms our internal landscape from one marred by doubt to one blossoming with self-assurance. Equally important is embracing opportunities to step outside our comfort zone. Growth and comfort seldom ride the same boat. To build self-confidence, one must be willing to sail uncharted waters. Each time we face a fear, take on a new challenge, or learn a new skill, we expand the boundaries of our comfort zone and with it, our self-confidence. These experiences, rich with learning and overcoming, serve as reminders of our resilience and adaptability. It's crucial to take moments to reflect on and celebrate our personal achievements, 
acknowledging our successes both big and small. This celebration is not an act of vanity, but a recognition of our growth and the hard work that fueled it. It's about giving ourselves the credit we deserve, allowing the glow of our achievements to light the way for future endeavors. Celebrating our achievements also involves sharing our victories with others. In doing so, we not only reinforce our own self-confidence, but also inspire those around us to pursue their goals with vigor. This shared celebration creates a ripple effect, fostering an environment of encouragement and mutual growth. Each piece, colored with moments of triumph and adversity, there lies a golden thread that binds them all. Persistence. This quality, more than any other, is often the defining factor between lingering in the shadow of unmet potential and stepping into the light of realized dreams. Persistence is not merely a steadfastness in action, but a deep-seated resolve in the heart that, regardless of the hurdles, one will continue moving forward, unwavering in the pursuit of their goals. The essence of persistence lies in understanding that the path to personal growth and success is not linear. It is fraught with setbacks and failures, each serving not as a stop sign, but as a guidepost directing us toward greater learning and growth. It's in the relentless pursuit of our goals in the face of these setbacks, that the true power of persistence shines brightest. It transforms obstacles into stepping stones, using each failure as a lesson to refine our strategies, enhance our skills, and deepen our resolve. To harness the power of persistence and overcoming failures, one must first reframe the narrative around failure itself. Instead of viewing it as a finality, see it as a part of the success process, a temporary setback that provides invaluable insights for future attempts. Embracing a mindset that welcomes failure as an opportunity for growth enables us to persevere with confidence, knowing that each misstep brings us one step closer to our goals. Strategies for embedding persistence into the fabric of our endeavors begin with setting clear, actionable goals and breaking them down into manageable steps. This approach ensures that we maintain momentum even when faced with challenges. Additionally, cultivating a support network of mentors, peers, and loved ones who encourage and believe in our journey can provide an extra layer of motivation to persevere through difficult times. The annals of history are replete with stories of individuals whose unwavering persistence led them to achieve remarkable success. Consider the inventor whose countless failures in the lab were merely preludes to the groundbreaking discoveries that would change the world, or the writer whose work was rejected time and again, only to become a bestseller that captivated millions. These stories, each unique in their contours, share a common core a relentless persistence that refused to be dimmed by the specter of failure. One particularly inspiring tale is that of a young athlete whose early career was marked by more losses than wins. Yet it was his unshakable belief in the power of persistence that propelled him forward. With each defeat, he returned to the drawing board, analyzing his performance, seeking feedback, and dedicating countless hours to training. His persistence was not merely in repeating the same actions, expecting different results, but in his commitment to continuous improvement. Ultimately, it was this persistence that led him to triumph on the world stage. As we weave the narrative of our own lives, imbue it with the quality of persistence. Remember that each challenge we face is an opportunity to demonstrate our resolve, to learn, to grow, and to edge closer to our aspirations. By embracing persistence, we not only enrich our own journeys, but also light the way for others, showing that through perseverance, even the loftiest dreams can be brought within reach. Threads of acting as if, steering clear of negativity, fortifying self-confidence, and the relentless march of persistence intertwine to form a guide to mastering the art of living fully. These principles, far more than mere concepts, are the bedrock upon which the edifice of personal triumph is built. They are the compass by which we navigate the often tumultuous seas of life's challenges, guiding us towards our north star of success and fulfillment. Now I extend to you an invitation, a call to action that resonates with the very essence of our shared journey. Today, take these principles, these nuggets of wisdom, and weave them into the fabric of your daily lives. Let them be the lens through which you view challenges, the armor that shields you from the arrows of doubt, and the wings that carry you to heights previously unimagined. Embrace acting as if, with the fervor of a believer, turn a deaf ear to the naysayers who cloud your path with negativity. Build your fortress of self-confidence with relentless dedication, and persist. Oh, how you must persist, with the tenacity of a warrior in the pursuit of your dreams. As each ending here heralds the beginning of your journey to mastery, I leave you with these parting words of encouragement.
Walk this path with the heart of a seeker. With unbridled enthusiasm and an unwavering belief in your ability to achieve the extraordinary. Remember, there is an ocean of potential within you, waiting to be unlocked through the keys of dedication and action. The journey you embark upon is marked not by the fear of the unknown, but by the courage to confront it head-on, with confidence in your step and determination in your heart. For it is not in the absence of challenges that we find our true strength, but in our ability to face them, to rise above them, and to emerge victorious tempered by the trials, and glowing with the irrefutable knowledge that we are indeed masters of our destiny. So go forth with the light of these principles guiding your way, and remember, the path to mastery is not a sprint, but a marathon, one that rewards not just the swiftness of the journey, but the spirit with which it is undertaken. Embrace your journey with confidence and determination, and the world bears witness to the unfolding of your greatness.